Do you own or rent your home? Sure you do. And I'll bet it can be hard work. You know what's easy? Bundling policies with GEICO. GEICO makes it easy to bundle your homeowner's or renter's insurance along with your auto policy. It's a good thing, too, because you already have so much to do around your home. Go to GEICO.com, get a quote, and see how much you could save. It's GEICO easy. Visit GEICO.com today. That's GEICO.com. Lamont and Tonelli. Old 69, Mike McGlinchey. And uh, Mike, before we even get into what we want to ask you uh, today, I, I, I want to know how you're feeling because you've had an injury now and a real serious injury for probably, what, five, six weeks? How long has it actually, been? Actually, we're on uh, eight weeks. Oh, eight my weeks. goodness. So how yeah, are you so feeling now? How are you coping with this? I'm doing really well. Um, I've been flying through rehab. It's been going really well. Um, haven't had any setbacks or anything like that. And uh, I'm, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty far ahead of schedule from where they thought I'd be at this time. Um, and just... I'm doing well. It's uh, obviously it's tough um, not being able to compete with my team, especially when um, you got a playoff chance on the line and all that kind of good stuff. But um, I'm, I'm supporting them as much as I can and, and being involved as much as I can. But um, my job right now is to get ready for next year. Hey, nice. What has been the most difficult or the most painful part of your rehab that you've had to do? Yeah. Uh, like physical, physically painful? Yes. Um. The first couple weeks of uh, of bending it and trying to control my body weight again um, was was the hardest part. Um, there was a, there was a when it it was so weak. Uh, my my leg was so weak after surgery um, that when I needed to start squatting and or not even really squatting, but um, doing the exercises with the trainers and stuff. Um, the first couple weeks of that definitely was the hardest physically for sure. Hey, so now, being it's been eight weeks, are you allowed to fly at all? Can you go to the team's last game? In I believe uh, they're playing what in in L. A. Right? LA, yeah, Sunday. Yeah, yeah. It's against the Rams in L. A. This week. I have not uh, discussed that with anybody. Um, I've kind of been trying to stay out of everybody's way, given how big of a week it is. So uh, I'm sure I'll talk to the trainers here in the next day or two uh, about that, but. Um, I'd like to be there. I'd like to be there for, for the team for sure. Hey, how's about this? I'll give you a solution. If you can't fly, what if I drive you down and we can do a road trip together? <laughs> That'd be a great idea. <laughs> um, what do you think? I'd love that. I think that'd be a great time. Right? Uh, I've got an SUV. I'll put you in the back or like uh, extend the seat down where you can stretch your leg out. You, me, Huey. And Tanel Chaster, are you in on this too? Sure, why not? Let's right? do it. And we'll go down there and, and just party yeah. while we're on our way down. And we'll stop once an hour I so think, you can move uh, your leg and stuff yeah. like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, would, I think that would be a hell of a time. Um, I, I, would, I would actually enjoy that a lot. All so, right, but we'd have to stock the uh, cooler full of beer for you. <laughs> what, what kind of beer would we buy? Um, oh, I'm I'm good with anything. I'm good with anything. Hey, can you imagine us rolling out of that SUV after like a six hour drive? Well, I can make it in four and a half. I've done that before. So. <laughs> So we'll get down there in a four and a half just before the game. We'll roll out of the SUV, beer cans falling out of the SUV, and say, Coach, we're here. We're here. Put us That'd in. Be a hell of a look for me. <laughs> <laughs> a hell of a look for me. <laughs> you can teach me about sports ball all the way down yeah, to yeah. LA. That would be great. Exactly. I'll have a master's by the time I get there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You can, like, yeah, tutor Chasta the whole way down. <laughs> yeah. Hey, uh, Mike, congrats on all the uh, retweeting you did, and kudos, because apparently it worked, and uh, a few of your guys got uh, selected to the Pro Bowl. I mean, five of the Niners, Debo Samuel and George Kittle, of course, were locks. Kyle Juszczyk, how about that one? Nick Bosa and your buddy Trent Williams on the offensive line. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, all five of those guys are, are some of the best in the in the, in the NFL at their positions. Um you know, people don't talk about Juice because he, you know, because he's a fullback or whatever. But um, he's one of the best football players I've ever been around, and um, and he's I think he's on his sixth or seventh straight Pro Bowl, um, making it every year, and and, and he's well deserved doing that. And um, Trent, obviously, I think is the best offensive tackle in football, and it's not, I don't think it's close. 
um, and, and George Debo and, and, and Nick are, are the best at, at what they do. So uh, all five of those guys, very deserving, very cool that they made it in the, in, in the first round of Pro Bowl voting. Hey, now speaking of voting, I was, uh, I'm reading stuff on predictions on who's going to be the MVP of the league this year. And I don't know how Debo is not even a consideration to be an MVP. The season he's having is one for the records, isn't it? I I agree with you. Um, I think uh, I think the MVP voting and, and 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 stuff like that has gotten a little diluted with um, just kind of assuming it's going to be a quarterback um, yeah. between Debo and and the running back from Indy, um, Cooper Cup, even Cooper Cup, the receiver from LA. Those guys um, have had an unbelievable year, and um, I don't know why it doesn't get talked about like that, but it's just kind of the the star power driven league of the quarterbacks kind of run our league. And, um, that's the way it's been. Um, I, I, I wish they would, I wish that would get corrected. I wish that would get changed because, um, there's other guys that are, that are truly great football players that are very well deserving of it. All right. Well, Hey, uh, we're going to try and put this plan together for this weekend. I would love to drive down to a road trip <laughs> with you. If not, uh, good luck to the Niners this weekend, and uh, we'll keep in touch with you. You're you're a good dude. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. Hell of a year. Thank you very much. All right, Mike McGlinchey, of, number sixty nine of the Forty Niners, old sixty nine. Mm-hmm. Wouldn't that be hilarious? Oh be my great. gosh, that would be wild. right. And we could all wear sixty nine jerseys. <laughs> I think he thinks he knows what he's getting into, but he does not know, you know what? what he would be getting into. Roll out, go to the game, and the thing is, if we go with them, we'll talk to someone and get like field passes, so we can stand uh-huh. beside the team with sixty nine jerseys on. <laughs> All well, of that'll us. happen. Team, exactly. We're known as Team Sixty Nine. Team yes, Sixty Nine. Yes, we're with McGlinchy. Thank you very much. <laughs> exactly. Instead of with the band shirts, it's with Sixty Nine. <laughs> with McGlinchy. Yeah, I love it. Let's do it. Lamont and Tanelli. Some of the most talented people in Hollywood like to really open up and get inside of you with Michael Rosenbaum. Seinfeld's Jason Alexander. The marine biologist. He had written this monologue. The sea was angry that day, my friends. There's no time or place to rehearse it. When you watch that episode, it's the first and only time we shot that new rewrite. Is that a Titleist? There was a solid (laughs) minute of laughter where you can't do the next line because the audience is laughing that hard. That was huge. Inside of You with Michael Rosenbaum. Listen wherever you get your podcasts.